So whether the glass is half empty or the glass is half full is not really what's important. What is important is there's room for more mead in there. <laughs> Come on, let's go make some more mead. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Dave Hodgkins. Thanks for coming out and hanging with Hodge today. Come for the mead, stay for the comparison between the mead and the wine. So we started the experiment back in May, in my notebook here. I always keep good notes, otherwise you're not doing science. Uh, we started on May 2nd. We have strawberry lemonade wine and strawberry lemonade mead. We brought the original gravity reading up to uh, 1.130. You can go back and check out that earlier video as we made that and the ingredients and everything. Uh, over the course of time, we took uh, regular readings on it. Our last reading was on August 20th. And one of the things that we found, as I said, we started at the exact same time. We used the exact same yeast, same base. Uh, just one we used honey in when we used sugar in and brought it up to the same original gravity reading, the mead has fermented faster than the wine did. Um, and when we last took our reading uh, on August 20th, the mead was at one point, or, I'm sorry, our original gravity was 1.130. On August 20th, our gravity reading was 1.030. So for the mead, that gives it a 13.125% alcohol content. While our wine on August 20th was 1.046, which gives us a, about a 10 and a half, 11 point, uh, percent uh, alcohol tolerance, so, or alcohol uh, content. So we're gonna go ahead and take one more reading on this. Uh, I'm assuming that they are going to be uh, still steady because when we did the reading on July 15th for the mead, it was 1.030, so it has stayed steady. And when we did it on for the uh, lemon for the strawberry lemonade wine, July 15th it was 1.050, which puts, puts it at a 10.5% alcohol. And then when we took the reading on August 20th it had dropped down uh, four points to uh, 1.046. So we're gonna go ahead and take a reading of both, assuming that they're both uh, still the same. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put stabilizer in both of them because we don't want bottle bombs. Those are bad. Uh, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, after that, uh, I'll go ahead and get it bottled up, bottled up later and uh, enjoy it as well. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a tasting while we're at it, while we're here. So we're going to start with the lemonade wine, strawberry lemonade wine. And again, everything here has been sanitized. Uh, always start and make sure to sanitize everything and sanitize your work area. Uh, so this tablecloth, actually it's a plastic tablecloth, so I can easily spray it down with sanitizer spray. But sanitize everything you don't want to get. Uh, any molds or anything in your wines, it just makes you sick. Stay away from that stuff. So we've got our uh, wine thief, our turkey baster. We have our graduated cylinder, made it all the way through high school. And we have our handy dandy hydrometer here. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the lemonade, strawberry lemonade uh, wine and with the handy dandy hydrometer. Again, we give it, I always give it a little spin in case as I'm putting it in, gets any air bubbles in it. Uh, hopefully it knocks off those air bubbles to give us a true reading. And we are at 1.0 1.046. So it has not changed in two weeks. 
It tells me that uh, this is done fermenting at this point, so we can go ahead and bottle this one here. And we're gonna go ahead and pour some in here. At this point, uh, give me a second, I'm going to uh, re-sanitize uh, the equipment and be right back. All right, and now we're back. We've re-sanitized uh, our equipment here. Now we're going to double check our mead. Did our wine, that ended up at 1.046, that's what I wrote down for today. And now we are going to do the same. Make sure that we've got this on tight. Yeah. Take our wine thief. In this case, our mead thief. Again, so our last reading was 1.030. And our reading this time here. One point oh three oh. So it has been sitting at 1.030 for uh, over a month now. So this one here is stable as well. We'll go ahead and pour some in here. All right, so let's take a look, see, uh, do a comparison. So this is the wine, this is the mead. So the wine, and by the way, we're using the Cherry Republic wine glasses. Uh, when Wendy and I, we went out uh, last year before everything went to hell in a handbasket. Uh, we were out in one of the wineries we went to. We did wine tasting. We went to Cherry Republic uh, Winery over in Frankenmuth, uh, Michigan. And uh, we had a great time. These people there were really good as well. Uh, if you get a chance and you're out there, you're going out to Bronner's or um, Oh, in that area, check them out. Good people, good wine tasting, good wine there as well. So we've got the wine here, we've got the mead here. So I don't know if you can see that. The wine is a little bit cloudy. Uh, while the mead is quite clear. That looks good there. Now let's give each one a smell. I can smell a lot of strawberry in the strawberry lemonade wine. And it smells, you, it, you can almost smell the sweetness there. It does have a higher uh, gravity, final gravity of 1.046, so I am expecting this to be sweeter than a 1.030. Now here, here you can smell the honey. You can get the um, smell of the strawberries as well, but definitely you get the smell, the aroma of the honey. <laughs> this is going to be good. <laughs> All right. They do both smell good. So let's, um, I'm expecting the mead to be better. So I'm going to start with the wine. I prefer to go with one that I think, and maybe I'm, it's going to be mental, but I'd rather go with one that I like to one that's really good versus going one really good to one that may not be as good because then it's going to throw off me thinking, hey, this isn't really that good at all when it might be really good, just not as good. So we're going to start with this one here. So it is good. You really do taste the strawberry in there. It's, a, it's almost like drinking strawberry juice. Um, again, got a good flavor to it, a good feel, good mouthfeel as well. We're using a uh, strawberry lemonade juice as a base. Uh, it's got a good mouthfeel to it. I do enjoy it, it is good. It 
and I will not be throwing this away. <laughs> That's not one that would get thrown down the uh, pipes. Now for the mead. Yeah, it's, it's got a wonderful smell to it. And really smell the honey in there. Oh, that is really good. I I really like yeah, yeah. So between the two, as I said, I'll probably both make both again in the future. But I definitely know that I'll do the strawberry lemonade mead. I've done it before. Uh, it is one of the favorites around here. Uh, in the top, definitely in the top 10. Uh, when I have friends over, they really like the strawberry lemonade mead. I'll have to have them try the wine as well. And maybe even do a blind taste test. And that's the thing is I'm not doing a blind taste test. So psych psychologically, I've already kind of made a decision. Uh, so it's not really fair to do it well. I'd have to do it blindfolded. Uh, but at that point there, then I'm gonna just dump the meat on top of myself because I can't see what I'm doing. So, well there you have it. Uh, we've got uh, strawberry lemonade mead, strawberry lemonade wine. They're both really good. Give it a try. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, leave a comment in the sections below if you've made this before. Uh, a thousand points for anybody who leaves any type of comment down below. Uh, Two thousand points um, if it's a comment that has to do that you've actually made this before. So uh, we're going to go ahead and add in our potassium sorbate stabilizer. Uh, this takes a half a teaspoon per gallon, uh, and that prevents uh, renewed fermentation when sweetening. So basically, because there's still residual sugars in there, we want to go ahead and uh, uh, prevent any further fermentation. I think that it's done because it's been so long that uh, the gravity readings have not changed. But I, I would rather be safe than sorry. Uh, I don't want to lose any wine or mead due to bottle bombs. That's called alcohol abuse, and we don't do that around here. So we've got, oh, there we go. Our uh, little measuring spoon here. I'm going to go ahead and add this in to each one. And then we're going to let it sit overnight before we actually do the bottling. So we'll bottle it tomorrow. That back on there this one off. Drop this in here. We will let those sit overnight. We will bottle this tomorrow. And we'll drink these tonight. So do me a favor, click the like button, click the subscribe button. Help me out here. Um, I'm out here just having fun. I appreciate you coming out and hanging out. I do enjoy our time together. Uh, I hope that you enjoy coming and hanging out with me as well. Uh, it's just we're having fun out over here. Uh, if you get a chance, as I said, drop a comment below. Tell me what you like. Uh, tell me what you'd like to see as well. Uh, we can make arrangements for that in the future. Uh, in the meantime, I'm Dave Hodgkins. I'm going to have some additional videos over here. I'll have a subscribe button over here. Uh, and again, just thanks for coming out and hanging out. You guys rock. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Cheers.